hello students uh, in the previous video we have seen the viscosity measurement using uh, capillary tube viscometer in this video we will see viscosity measurement using variable area type viscometer so other name for this variable area type viscometer is viscosity to displacement converter and once you see the schematic it is similar to your rotameter what we have studied for flow me flow rate measurement variable area type flow meter or rotameter similar construction we are going to have for this variable area type viscometer which is going to convert the viscosity to displacement energy viscosity energy to displacement energy so the outcomes of this particular topic outcomes of this particular topic are three the student will be able to draw the schematic of variable area type viscometer and also mentioning the different elements of this schematic second outcome is the student will be able to draw the block diagram of variable area type viscometer so that means if at all it is it has to be represented in terms of electrical type of transducer what is its block diagram and also mentioning uh, different variables the third outcome will be the student will be able to explain about working principle of variable area type of viscometer so whenever the some sort of questions are being posed to draw the schematic or draw the block diagram it will be asked under one mark questions under remember level if the less question is been asked under explanation explain about working explanation about working principle it will be asked under the understand level so coming to the schematic this is the schematic of variable area type viscometer so where we have this is inlet flow and this is outlet flow so simply across a flow pipeline some fluid is been passing through this for which the viscosity has to be measured here so to have a control on that particular flow rate we are using a control valve here closing or opening of this particular control valve will vary the output flow rate with respect to input flow rate so whenever the input flow rate is coming it is been entering into this area where we are going to have a floats are there bottom float and top float and this top float is connected to the coil setup that is push pull type of inductive transducer where where from we can take the output leads to measure the electrical output this is the test fluid and this variation of this float will be referred as x and here we are going to consider two floats bottom float will be referred as passive type of float mainly the idea of using this bottom float is to know the particular measurement of flow rate actual measurement will be done with respect to viscosity that is top float will be using for that the variation of top float which is referred as active float which is used for viscosity measurement bottom float passive type will be used for flow measurement here similarly the block diagram what we can draw here is variable area type of viscometer which can be converting the viscosity energy to displacement energy and this displacement can be measured by using any sort of position measuring transducers that is push pull inductive transducer or lvdt linear variable differential type of transducer can be used as part of the second transducer the primary transducer will be variable area type of transducer second transducer will be either push pull type of inductive transducer or linear variable differential type of transducer so we know that either whenever i am we are using a push pull type or uh, lvdt we are going to get an ac output ac output voltage which has to be converted to dc ac to dc converter or fa sense to demodulator any device which can convert ac voltage to st stable dc voltage can be employed as part of this block then outward this dc voltage with proper amplification by using an amplifier we can get as an output as delta e not dash which can be displayed on the digital panel meter so already we have discussed earlier also the digital panel meter will be displaying the voltage values but calibrated in terms of the input that's why i have represented as delta mu dash delta mu dash are the values calibrated values of viscosity and those calibrations are being done to the voltage values which are been input to the digital panel meter here so coming to work coming to working principle so the first point we can notice the test liquid is passed through variable area type of viscometer 
and its working principle is similar to that of rotameter already we have discussed about that and due to fluid passage due to due to fluid passage the float position with respect to reference mark let us take this is my reference mark the float position is going to be varied due to flow rate the float will be moving up so the float will take a sustained position where the top of top uh, force is equal to bottom force it is similar to what we have discussed as part of the rotameter here similarly the same thing will be principle will be applied to top float so it is at top position it is at bottom position so this top float is connected to your push pull type of inductive transistor so we can have for a constant flow rate observed with respect to bottom float position across the flow rate scale that is lpm scale the position of the top float varies with respect to fluid viscosity whenever the fluid is been passing both the floats are going to be vary their position and that is referred in terms of the displacement the bottom float position displacement is referred with respect to the measurement of flow rate that is lit liters per minute scale and the top position float is connected to for viscosity measurement the position of top float varies with respect to fluid viscosity usually the float takes sustained position where upward and downward force are at equilibrium what i have discussed earlier so for different positions of float float bottom the core position across push pull type of uh, sorry this is uh, top please for different position of top float the core position across push pull inductive transistor varies resulting in ac output voltage that is whenever the float position is going to vary it is been kept across the coils here whenever it is been moving so the inductance is going to be changed let us assume that i can have the inductance as l plus delta l or n minus delta l so for one lead the inductance is increased another lead will have the decrease of inductance one is push and the other one is pull already we have discussed about this push pull type of inductive transistor in various applications in the similar lineup due to this float position the core position varies and due to this core position one side inductance increases and that side inductance is going to be decreased here that is what i have written here for a different positions of float top the core position across a push pull inductive transistor varies resulting in ac output voltage for delta x proportional delta mu for a given input viscosity the displacement is going to be changed of the top float for which the l effective will be changed as l plus delta l or l minus delta l so taking this l plus delta l and l minus delta l in a particular two arms of an ac bridge circuit assuming the other two arms are fixed resistors input is excited with standard ac excitation output we are going to observe across this one this ac bridge circuit is going to give an ac output voltage there what is the content of that ac output voltage delta e not ac is equal to capital e into 2 delta l by l where capital e is nothing but excitation voltage while discussing about push pull type of inductive transistor we have derived this relation so the same relation i have taken delta e not ac is equal to capital e into 2 delta l by l e is constant l is constant so delta e not is proportional to delta l how much l delta l go, is going to vary with respect to viscosity so that means delta l proportional to delta x proportional to delta mu what you are going to have the same thing will be happen so this is proportional to delta e not ac my output is your voltage is going to be changed delta e not ac proportional delta l proportional delta x proportional to delta mu not the same thing we can see as part of the block diagram so variable area type of viscometer converting change in viscosity to change in displacement of top float position this top float position top float displacement is converting that into change in output voltage using ac bridge circuit this ac output voltage can be converted to stable dc by using ac to dc converter then this if required we can go for amplification by using a standard instrumentation amplifier we can use this amplifier and then we can display on the digital parameter and we can calibrate with respect to minimum calibration and maximum calibration and based upon your range of measurement you can have a displayed values calibrated in terms of the delta mu 
okay students hope uh, you understood the working principle of this and also the block diagram of the variable area type of viscometer viscometer so it is similar to the rotameter principle so, and uh, as part of uh, the outcome we must be in a position you must be in a position to draw the schematic draw the block diagram and explain about the working principle of variable area type viscometer thank you